So we're now going to find the inverse tan of 1 plus i. So we have this formula for inverse tan of z, so we just plug in uh, z equals 1 plus i. So what happens? So 1 plus i plus i is 1 plus 2i and we've got i minus z um, so it's i minus 1 minus i so we just got minus 1 on the bottom just makes life slightly easier okay so we need to work out um, we need to work out what the argument of this is so it's minus 1 minus 2i so let's be careful about that always good to draw a picture so let's let's just draw a picture of this complex number so we have um, 1 minus 1 and minus 2 so basically um, this is 1 and this length here is 2 so um, we want this angle plus this angle for example I mean we can do it different ways but let's so this angle here is inverse tan of 2 and we've got plus pi so the argument of this is um, well we can write it different ways I mean one way of writing it is, is pi plus inverse tan of 2 another way of writing it is thinking of this this way around and thinking of it as pi pi minus inverse tan of 2 doesn't really make much difference okay so um, and obviously the modulus of this complex number is root 5 so we have um, i over 2 times log of root 5 times e to the i inverse tan of 2 um, then okay I need to also add plus 2 pi n i Sorry, I forgot the uh, plus pi. So I've got this plus pi as well. Plus pi i. Sorry, I'll rewrite that down here. Okay, so I've got, uh, well, okay. When I take logs, it'll become clear. So log of root 5 is um, half of log 5. Then I'm going to bring all of this down to make it clear. So taking logs of e to the i something, what do I get? I get i times inverse tan of 2 plus my pi uh, plus 2 pi n. Okay, always say what your n means, so it's just any integer. Okay, so all I need to do now is just simplify this expression. So um, let's let's do real parts first. So I've got i times i, so that's going to give me a minus. So I've got minus half inverse tan of two. Um, then I've got um, 2n plus 1 pi divided by 2. So that gives me n plus a half pi. Um, I, okay, so strictly it's a minus sign if I'm going to keep the same n. You might choose to change n to m and get a plus sign here, it doesn't really make much difference, that's fine. Um, and then finally the last bit is is just the imaginary bit which is going to be i over 4 times log 5.